One of the things that struck me about Srila Prabhupada is that he was always very, very concerned about the welfare of all of his disciples. And um, that never struck me harder or deeper than in a, in, a, in a particular pastime that I had with him in Bombay. I had cut my foot and I came to the Guru Puja that morning and there must have been a hundred devotees there at the Guru Puja and everyone was worshiping Prabhupada and offering incense and the RT was going on and he saw me come in and he saw my foot and he called me to the Vyasa Sun and he moved forward and he just completely ignored everyone in the entire room for that one moment. And he said to me, what happened to your foot? And I said, well, I cut myself. He said, are you all right? Is it very bad? Have you gone to the doctor? Do you need medicine? Do you need anything? And I kept assuring him that everything was fine, that I had taken care of it. And then he said, remember, if you need anything, if you need any care, come and see me and I'll take care of it. So there was that deep care and affection that Srila Prabhupada displayed, nothing was important to him as the care and welfare of his disciples. Prabhupada was always extremely humble. As exalted and as glorious as he was, he never acted in such a way that uh, people, uh, like un unlike other gurus who said they were God or other gurus who said they were something wonderful or something special. Srila Prabhupada always acted in a, in a very humble manner. There was a dispute one time about Srila Prabhupada's position uh, between different senior devotees. And one woman disciple wrote to Srila Prabhupada and said, some of the devotees are saying that you can see what's in the hearts of all of your disciples and in every temple. And the other devotees are saying that that's like a magic trick and that you're, you're, you're not like that. You can't do those things. So the devotees who are saying that, the other devotees are saying that that's diminishing your spiritual prowess. So what do you say? Please tell me. So the, the secretary asked the question and Prabhupada said, for a greatly advanced pure devotee, this is not at all difficult. He can easily see what is going on in the hearts of all of his disciples and in all of his temples. So that was, a, the secretary would ask the question, Prabhupada would reply. So then he said, okay, so I should tell her that you can, you can do this then. And Prabhupada said, I didn't say that. He said, I said for a greatly advanced pure devotee, he could see that. I am not a greatly advanced pure devotee. I am not even a devotee. I am just trying to be a devotee. So in that statement, he, he simultaneously exhibited his humility and actually also showed us what our state of consciousness should be in trying to develop our Krishna consciousness, that we were just trying to be devotees. So then the secretary said, so I should tell her that. And he said, oh yes, for a greatly advanced pure devotee, this is not a difficult. Je Anilo Prima Dona Koduna Prachur